Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today we are going to be talking about affordable brushes that are available here in the Philippines. Whether they're available in stores, at the mall, or um, you can order them online through Philippine websites. So, um, I think videos like this are super, super helpful, especially for people who are just starting out playing around with makeup and need like affordable products to get their kit started. So all these brushes are affordable and I will list down all of the prices in the description down below. And I'm going to be rambling throughout this entire video so let's just get started. <laughs> okay so the first brush set that I wanted to talk about is this brush set that I got from Lazada. I remember when I was just starting to play around with makeup, this was the very first brush set that I ever bought. And I was so excited when they arrived. I remember I even put up like, I did like an entire flat lay photo shoot for these brushes because I was so excited. So there are a lot of brushes um, from this set. I remember that they were really affordable because they were like 50% off at that time. I'm not sure if these are still available on Lazada but I do recommend you guys to check it out because they always always have sales and promos on um, makeup products and especially brushes so I remember this was super cheap um, I think it was around 800 or something like that and it was 50% off or something like that so it was really cheap when I got it not all of the brushes are very useful from th this set because a lot of them are so flat and so dense and the type of fiber isn't the best that it can't like this shader brush it can't really pick up the pigment but i wanted to talk about the four brushes that i used from this set the most so these are the brushes that i use the most from that set so this is just a brush i remember when i was just starting out with makeup i used this to apply everything I use this to apply all powders. I would use this for my blush, for my contour, for my setting powder. I don't know how that turned out, but that was a really bad idea. Now I just use this to um, apply the powder that I need to set my concealer with. Then I have this spoolie that I have been using for years now. I use this for my eyebrows and I use this also for my lashes because my lashes are so long and I need to brush my lashes before I apply mascara. This little brush, which is kind of pointy, which is perfect for contouring my nose. So I use this when I need like a full face and I need to contour my nose. And lastly, this little brush right here, which I use to apply my highlight on my nose and my inner corners. Oh, I don't have highlight in my inner corners. Anyway. So I use this for that Carly Bible technique where she puts like a exclamation point on her nose and I like to copy her because I love Carly Bible. Okay, so like I said, I don't use all of the brushes from that set but a lot of them are still pretty helpful. All in all, I think that the brush set from Lazada was totally worth the money so please go check Lazada out if you are looking for cheap brushes. Now I'm going to be talking about this brush set that I bet everyone already has but I wanted to talk about it because I got it for a really cheap price. So I wanted to talk about these brushes right here. So these are 10 brushes that are in a set that I bought from Shopee.com. So I bet that you see this everywhere already. If you're a person who likes to shop on Instagram, you must have seen this at least once or twice or maybe a couple of a hundred times. I like these brushes because they are perfectly dense, if you know what I mean. They're not too fluffy and they're not too dense. You have two tapered brushes. Um, I use both of these when I contour. You have this pointy one, which I also use for my powder. And these, which you can use to buff in your foundation, but as you can see, they're pink because I use them to apply blush in one of my tutorials, which needed a lot of blush. These little ones are actually just mini versions of the, these ones. Like the big one, you have the uh, two tapered ones, the 
flat one, the round one, and the pointy one, like the big ones. So in general, these brushes are amazing. These brushes do really well with eyeshadows. These brushes do really well with a lot of things, and they are really, really cheap. So I got this set from Shopee, the, the little apps, and I'm so, so happy that I ordered this. I wasn't really expecting much because they really, they were just 300, but they turned out so amazing. So I do recommend that you guys go check out Shopee, the app. So the next brushes that I'm going to be talking about are brushes that I bought as singles. So these two brushes I bought separately. They are from the brand Stellar Beauty and I got them from the Empire Fashion Cafe in Maginhawa and these brushes are amazing. Like they are definitely softer than all my other brushes and this is like the perfect blending brush. I use this all the time. It's the perfect length and the perfect density for blending out your eyeshadow, especially the ColourPop eyeshadows. This I love because I just needed a really big uh, brush that was not too fluffy but perfectly dense. I don't know if you guys know what I mean when I say that because a lot of brushes are super fluffy like this one that the, br the bristles are farther apart while this one is a little bit more dense and I was looking for a brush like this and these brushes are super super cheap like if I'm not mistaken this brush for, was just for 150 and this brush was just for 250 there are tons of other brushes like this from Stellar Beauty in the Empire Fashion Cafe but these are the only ones that I bought because these are the ones that I needed most so I do recommend that you guys check that out so these brushes I bought together but they're not from the same oh they are so they are from the same brand called beauty cosmetics so these brushes are also super amazing like this fan brush is holy grail to me it's made from goat's hair i think and it is so freaking soft i don't know if a brush can get softer than this it is so look at that it is so soft it's so crazy soft and what I love most about this fan brush is that when I use it to apply my highlight, it makes the highlight look just like a natural glow. I can't explain it. You're gonna have to get this. And uh, I also got this other blending brush, which is a little bit more flat than this, my favorite blending brush. But this works really, really well too. So these brushes, I actually got from a shop. It's called House of Dash and it's actually at Pampanga. My dad lives in Pampanga and we came to visit and we went to the Nepo Mall and in one of the buildings in like the Nepo complex, it was kind of like a bazaar type and there was this shop which was freaking heaven to me. It made me happier than the makeup section in the department store because all of the makeup that I wanted to buy was there. If you get a chance to go to Pampanga, do check that out. I will try to link the exact place of the um, shop in the description down below. But you can also follow their Instagram account, which I will also list down below. Okay, so we are down to our last few brushes. So this brush is one of my earliest brushes. As you can see, it's kind of beaten up. This brush is kind of came from a really weird place. I don't know if you guys know what HMR is. It's inside an SM hypermarket. And what it does is it sells like excess products from other countries and um, they are sold at a really, really cheap price there. The products there are pretty random, but when you're lucky, you can find makeup products. And I found this. This is just a makeup brush. It came with, a, I bought other brushes from HMR, but I don't know where I put them. But because they are from HMR, they are extremely, extremely cheap. And this one has no brand written on it. It just says 052. You really, really need a fluffy brush where the bristles are pretty far apart for stuff that, for powders that are really pigmented that you don't want like, like a stripe on your face. Because the bristles are so far away, you're gonna have the chance to blend it out. Okay, so this brush, it says MAC. But it's obviously not MAC because I'm not even sure if MAC sells this. 
This I got from the Tai Tai Freedom Bazaar and I think it was just 150 and I decided to just buy it. It's been working pretty pretty well. So if you do go to the Tai Tai Freedom Bazaar, I do recommend you to buy this if ever you do find it because that's a pretty big bazaar. So I use this to blend out my contour, sometimes my concealer. Okay, so we are on to our final brush and it is this cutie patootie kabuki brush right here which I actually bought from my sister's Instagram shop which I'm not really sure if it's still open because I don't really see her sell stuff anymore. I'll ask her and put it in the description box if she still does sell it. But if she doesn't, I'm pretty sure that you can find another Instagram shop that sells this because this is pretty much all over the freaking internet alike. Like this set right here. Oh wait, they're, they're the same color. Anyway, this is my favorite brush. There's something about this that helps me like blend in my foundation faster. And I actually like to tap my foundation in first before I blend it in soft circular motions. And this is perfect for that. I do recommend you guys to buy this. It is totally worth the money because this brush is amazing. Okay, so that concludes all the makeup brushes that are affordable and that I recommend you guys to get. They were all bought at different places, which I will link down below. All the prices will be linked down below. But before I end this video, I wanted to give a special shout out to these two products right here. So this is just a brush cleaner, which you could also find all over the internet. This I bought at Clark, but you can buy this anywhere on the internet and just order it. It's um, all over the internet for a reason and it's because it really does the job. Finally, I'd like to talk about this. It comes in this cutie patootie packaging. They are the softest sponges ever and they are so, so cheap, so inexpensive. I got these from Etude House and I think they are just a hundred and they come in fours. So they are amazing in blending out your concealer. You can use this to blend out your foundation too, but it is pretty small. So I just use this to blend in my concealer when I'm not using this. Because they are so cheap, they're not gonna last as long as your Real Techniques blending sponge, but they're just hundreds. So you're, and you're gonna get a couple of uses out of this one little sponge and they come in fours. All right, so that concludes this video. I'm sorry if I talked way too much. I will try to edit this to be as concise as possible, but I just really wanted it to be helpful for you guys. And if you have any other questions or you know tips for other people, just comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!